Well, good morning, everybody. This is day five. Uh, unfortunately, the fishing hasn't been very good due to the recent hurricane. Um, yesterday, we had maybe two or three yellowtail keepers between all of us. However, Matt's underwater camera showed that the water there was chock full of them. So hopefully, we'll try to go back there today and see if the bite is hot. Uh, for now, the plan is to take a three-hour boat ride to this area where apparently there's a lot of fish, Dorado, Wahoo, maybe some yellowtail, and I said a bunch of tuna as well. So. Wish us luck today. Um, hopefully next time we're on this video, we'll be us catching the fish. So today we're gonna head out to Thetis, see what we can find. We know there was a lot of tuna out there before the hurricane. If there is, we're ready with feathers, some phoenix fish handlers, things like this for the tuna. But we're hoping there's wahoo there. If there's wahoo, we've got quite a few. We got the Sincero Junior Lure. This thing's always hitting wahoo. This is a small one. But we'll find out if they're there with this. And if they are, we'll probably switch up to some bigger lures and go for the wahoo then. But in the meantime, Dorado tuna, this is what the type of stuff we're running. They love to hit these things. 70 miles, three hours later, we're out here. We're starting to fish now. Toby, Matt, Andrew, Josue, they're all getting the lines out and just going to troll. It's interesting how they troll around here. All this stuff is bouncing off the top. We got, we're going to have six lines out. Everything's going to be bouncing on the top at different distances from the boat and that keeps it from getting tangled if we have to turn. So this is how we're able to fish six rods. Josue is getting this outrigger out. We'll connect the line to the end of it. So far, this line is out, this line is out. And I don't know if you can see them back there, but they're popping, they're popping around. And there just happens to be this random boater, another yacht way out here. So we're trolling about eight knots per hour which is way faster than you would ever troll for anything in Northern California, unless you're going for albacore or something. So it's just a completely different way of fishing. Everything is on top, skipping around, except for the Rapala and the mag track. Andrew hooked up on his first, first big fish out here, I think. Let's see what happens, we'll see what it is. You still got him, right? Yeah, for sure. All right, here he comes. With Dorado? Oh, it's a Dorado? No, it's a tuna. Tuna. All right. All right, there you go. Little guy. Nice, Andrew. about an hour and a half trolling so uh, there's a high spot out here it's about 100 feet deep it looks like there's some fish and stuff on it on the sonar so we're gonna stop here and throw some jigs try to yo-yo something up Toby's dad got something just hooked something up near the bottom he was reeling up looks like a big fish Probably a big yellowtail. It's a yellowtail. He's here. Oh. Well, 70 miles out, we trolled. It's one o'clock right now, so we've been trolling for at least five hours. Coming up on a buoy. There's random buoys out here in the ocean, and they might hold fish, just like when you see a kelp patty for yellowtail or something. 
but yeah i don't know october november seems to be the better months to come out here everything's biting but two days ago a hurricane passed through now the water temperature is 73 degrees toby was saying that the best bite comes around 80 81 79 somewhere up there so i don't know that hurricane kind of messed everything up we got one more shot we're trolling back we're going to the mouth where we saw all the yellowtail on the underwater camera. So if I can catch some yellowtail, which I think I can, that will make my trip completely. We're almost at the yellowtail spot. It's 4.15 right now. I've been waiting all day to come and fish this place. Andrew's gonna fish a jig. He just bet me $5 that he could catch one first. Shake. Come on, baby. Go, let's go, let's go. Almost here. Everyone says Woo! Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's go. Man, that feels good catching the old tail, especially when you do it yourself, drop it and reel it in, not have someone hand it off. But that's what it was on right there. Bit on this fisherman's life jig coming up from the bottom at 70 feet of water, reeling up fast, stopping for just a second and then reeling up fast again. It's 150 gram, pretty cool man. Finally got into a good school of yellowtail right here, same place where we saw him yesterday. Andrew's on another one. Look what we got in the cooler right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six or seven. There's gonna be seven or eight right here. Man, for some reason when we were at idle speed, that boat alarm just kept going off every second. So I'm not gonna make you guys sit through 10 minutes of boat alarm going off. So we finally got on this big school of yellowtail. Toby hooked up on three quick. I was neck, actually Matt got one, and then Toby's dad got one too. So I was sitting in the corner with like, oh man, I need one for myself. Finally, I hooked up one by myself on the jig. That felt amazing. Andrew got a couple also, and that really just made the trip. For a hurricane passing through, water temperatures being all messed up, Ending the trip on a high note, catching these yellowtail was more than I could ask for. All right, Toby, it was a good good trip. Four days out here, a little slow at the beginning. I don't know, hurricane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so ended off on a great note, catching some yellowtail. So if anybody wants to come down here, you can tell them where, where you can find you. Yeah, usually we have really good offshore fishing, but their hurricane came through in the middle of these guys' trips, so made it a little bit rough, but we still find fish. And if you guys are interested in this type of adventurous fishing, uh, just visit magbaylodge.com and give us a call, send us an email, and we'll, we'll get it set up. And what would you say the best times of the year to come are? If they want, you know, guaranteed fish almost. Guaranteed fish, best time of the year is September, October, November, December. Those are the best months for sure. And he's got kayaks now, so if you're just into kayaks, they'll do trips strictly kayaks, or if you want to do two days offshore, two days in, the mangroves with kayaks, they'll do that too. Just gotta let them know what you want. Yeah, we got a lot of exciting trips for all sorts of different things, inshore, mangroves, kayaks, offshore, but it's a fun place, so thanks. Thanks Bye, for man. coming. Yeah, dude, thank you. Big, big thank you to Toby, owner of Mag Bay Lodge. If you're ever interested in taking a trip down south, check them out, magbaylodge.com. I'm back in the city now, going salmon fishing solo tomorrow. Got a trip with Daniel on Friday. On Sunday, I'm going out with June, more than fishing, trying to catch a big old salmon. So i got a bunch of Bay Area videos coming up, some more catch and cooks, a lot of things to look forward to. Thanks again for a million subscribers. I'll see you guys soon.